sensitize stakeholders on the protection of savings and the consumption of financial services was the main issue at stake in a seminar organized by the Minister of Finance in Douala, Wednesday, September 1, 2021. Through presentations, stakeholders from the littoral and southwest regions were drilled on the importance of protecting consumers of financial services. Resource persons highlighted that consumer protection is intended in particular to strengthen consumer confidence in the banking and financial system. This is a means and a guarantee of achieving a double objective, the protection of depositors and the integrity guarantee of the banking and financial system. Once consumer confidence is strengthened, stakeholders say this makes it possible to increase the bank account penetration rate and equally strengthen the stability of the banking and financial system. Reason why the Ministry of Finance deemed it necessary to carry out the sensitization exercise. There are so many conflicts between consumers and the general managers of the microfinances institutions. So the minister has sent us to come and vulgarize the tax reglementation, reglement the, the, their activities. So that's why we came to the field and to tell them as from today, that is why the reglementation allowed to you what you can do, how can you have the credit, how can you reimburse. Legal instruments used in protecting consumers of financial products and services include Resolution 1984-62 of the UN Economic and Social Council of July 23, 1981. There is also the law number 2011-012 of May 6, 2011 on consumer protection in Cameroon. These instruments help microfinancial institutions and banks to adopt strict standards of conduct and fight against abusive commercial practices that are detrimental to consumers. Practices which are expected to be carried out henceforth. It's about enlightening up some of the laws that defend and protect customers that we are not aware of. That we should be aware of that and uh, we should implement them in our various microfinance establishments. On a general assertion, these instruments promote consumer access to banking products and services. Services, some of which are henceforth free within the CEMAC zone. And so stakeholders in the financial sector appreciated the initiative of the Ministry of Finance to bring to their notice these rules. Microfinance is to focus on credit in generating income, not charging customers on any IT service that they, they offer. The seminar in Douala is the fourth after that of Yaoundé that brought together microfinancial institutions from the center, south and east regions that of Garua for those institutions from Adamawa, north and far north regions, and that of Bafusam for those from the west and northwest regions.